is really a, a terrific honor for me to, to introduce you to this next young man. Seven years ago, 10-year-old Jackson Grant was diagnosed with an inoperable but benign brain tumor. Since then, this young man has undergone 32 MRIs and two surgeries, which you could imagine, pretty terrific, terrifically frightening for a little child. Knowing how scary it can be, Jackson, with the help of his auntie, wrote this book, The Donut That Roared, a children's book to help other kids and, and demystify the process of getting an MRI. In the book, he has personal stories and even tips on how to make the whole thing a little less scary. Joining me now, the book's author, who I need to disclose to you, I've known since he was knee-high to a grasshopper, um, is Jackson Grant, who is 17 years old and sporting quite a fine head of hair, my dear. <laughs> Apparently no scissors at your house either, huh? <laughs> Jackson, um, you know I've known about this voyage of yours, and, and I'm really pleased to be able to profile this tell people at home why you wanted to write this book because most people would think you would wish want to put this behind you yeah so the book basically came about because when i was in sixth grade i had this writing assignment which was basically just journal about your day and my teacher noticed that i was writing about these different experiences that i was having and like writing down these little tips that i had about going to the hospital i have this whole dramatic sequence of <laughs> When I went to one of my MRIs, it was like, I walk to the machine. I see the machine. There it is. I stare down the IV cart. I say, you again. And, it, you know, I was just writing down these different things, and my aunt saw it, and she said, you know, why don't we do some research? There isn't anything really like this. And why don't we do some research and see if we can create something that can help other kids, and you can use your imagination to help other kids um, who might not have... Um, who might be a little bit scared of go about going through the experience. Were you scared when you were going through it? So fu the funny thing is, my little cute 10-year-old mind was not scared at all, which I feel like I should have been scared. <laughs> I was, Like I said, I was just using my imagination. Yeah. So the book is called The Donut That Roared, and it's because when I first saw the machine, I said, that is a big plastic donut, <laughs> and I'm going to be raspberry jelly. You're going to be the raspberry jelly. Well, the raspberry jelly is my favorite inside to uh, topping in here. You you actually talk in here about some of the things that you did to help make something that was a pretty regular occurrence in your in your young life, going for these MRIs, visits to the hospital, to, you know, talking to surgeons, etc. You you make some cute little things, you, notes about the fact that you and your family uh, decided to sort of reward you with great things. Like for example, you'd go to get birth burgers after uh after you had a test and that was something that still puts a smile on your face yeah so uh my dad took me to tommy's one time and i loved it so much <laughs> it was it's just i mean not healthy at all but i loved going there and so it was kind of something that we would say you know when you're in the machine just think just know that we're going to go to tommy's afterwards so it might it might suck in the moment but Keep that in your mind that there's going to be something good following it. And that's one of the tips that I put into my book that helped me. Another thing that helped you was wearing your favorite socks so that when you look down at the end of the donut, you could see your crazy <laughs> socks sticking out the end. Oh, yeah. I bet that brought a, a smile to the techs that were working the MRI machine, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now when I go there, people look at my feet and they're like, I like your socks. <laughs> What has the, the reaction been to the book? I know that you guys have been trying to get this into the hands of people in hospitals across the nation so that, that young kids that are going through this who may not have the support that you had or may not have the sense of humor that you mm -hmm. have or the imagination you have, um, that they can see this and not feel so alone. Mm -hmm. The idea is that I'm, I created something that helped me. I used tips that helped me. And I wrote it down so I could share it with others and that they could also see that there are people like you who who go through similar things and it's it's sort it's a form of support. Um, well and by the way, you're taking it a step further. I want you to tell uh, you called me about this the other day about the fact that you have bigger plans of, of using the book as a, as a jumping off point. You're interested in creating a mentorship program so that somebody like you can be paired with a younger kid that's going through this same kind of treatment or any kind of medical issue and you can provide sort of a big brother, big sister relationship to them. Yeah, so at my school, Sequoia High School in Pasadena, as a part of our social innovations program, 11th graders are able to choose uh, a project that they want to pursue, and they get to come up with it 
all on their own and then we get to have full control over it and i wanted to use my experience as someone who's been through the process to help mentor younger kids who are at the start of their process and i wanted to create a network of kids just like me so that I can create a big brother, big sister program, and that's what I'm working on going into the future. So if you're wondering what 17-year-olds today are capable of, that's that. Let me just tell you, I wasn't that kid. I was not that kid, <laughs> but I am really uh, pleased to be part of the tribe that is helping oversee the raising of you, young man. Um, Jackson Grant, I want to tell people where they can find this book. What's the easiest way if they have a, a kiddo in their family that needs to see this book? How can they find it? Yeah, so you can go to DonutThatRoar.com and you can order a book for yourself and then you can also order one and donate um, directly to a hospital right from the website. Come on now. <laughs> Jackson, you can be followed at Donut That Roared on Instagram because I know you're all over the Instas as well. The reason we were able to get you is because you're doing distance learning and of course it's Christmas week so you had a little break there in your Zoom room schedule. Jackson, good to see you. My best to your family. Um, all your beloveds are my beloveds. Thanks for being here to tell us about this book and um, we can't see, wait to see where life takes you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Very proud of you. Up next, let me tell you about Amazon. They've got a great...